Question 47. I drew a map of Poole Harbour to a scale of 101 to 32,000. If you, if you gabble your words when you read it, just accept it. We all do it. Go back, read it. Don't get be proud. Just five centimetres on the map equals how many kilometres in real life? Aha. Uh -huh. Five centimetres equals how many kilometres on the ground? So let's have a little look. Uh, we know what's the golden rule? One. That's right. So one uh, centimetre on the map equals 320 sorry 332,000 centimeters in real life it works with inches one inch on the map equals 32,000 inches in real life one bogey on the map equals 32,000 bogeys in real life one dog poo on the map equals 32,000 dog poos in real life Ugh. Right, but we don't want centimetres. You wouldn't measure that distance in centimetres. We want it in kilometres, don't we? So let's sharpen up our pencil. And so one centimetre equals, now it's not a ratio. Um, so centimetres, decimetres, metres, decimetres, hectometres, kilometres. So 0 0.3. Three, two kilometers. That's the way I've learnt it. It goes kilometers, hectometers. Big feeling that might be a small h, but I've been doing it with the capital for years. So that was how I was taught. But I think I was taught wrong. I have a vague feeling I've been teaching generations of small. Anyway, shh. kilometers, hectometers, decimeters, meters, decimeters, centimeters millimeters if you learn those uh, trust me you'll be grateful forever but uh, you could just go a hundred centimeters equals a meter and a thousand meters equals a kilometer and that's where your decimal point lies I think that's probably how it's going to turn up in the 11 plus let's be pragmatic about it but how many centimetres did we want? Notice that's written not as a number, as a word. So that the people scanning for numbers will miss that, and they do. So 5 centimetres equals, if we multiply this side by 5, we multiply, absolutely, that side by 5. Now notice you've got a decimal here to multiply, times 5. 2 times 5 is good 10 3 times 5 is good 15 plus 1 is 16 naught times 5 is naught plus the 1 is 1 what do we do about the decimal bring it down yeah you could bring it down and you'd get it right through sheer dumb luck um how it worked was you've what you should do when you times you've got one two numbers after the decimal so you bounce it in one two now let's just imagine, we'll change the decimals so we can practice it whilst we're here. Supposing it was 0 0.032 times um, 0 0.5. How many numbers are there after the decimal? Now, 1, 2, 3, 4. So all the numbers, you know, 3 times 5 still equals 15, 2 times 5 equals 10. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers after the decimal. So we go in 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need to put in our little naught there. And then we also need to put one there, just so that this decimal doesn't get lost in the ether. Try and remember how to do that, because it's almost certainly going to turn up in the exam somewhere, tucked around the little corner. See you soon.